What's up, Piper friends? Welcome to Tim's School of Pipes and Classes in Session. Today, I am smoking some whatever blend from the Country Squire in my Missouri Meerschaum Charlestown Cobbler. So, whatever blend is where they take the leftovers from the blending bowls and they dump it all together. And so, this is kind of the leftover bits from the aromatic bowls. Um, it's nice and light little bit vanilla a little bit berry but not much just kind of a cool smoking light um, blend not much to it and of course every time you get it every blend is different so since the late 50s and the early 60s almost 70 years now all of our universities have been absolutely almost 100 percent filled with marxist and communist professors. And the mainstream media leads us to believe that Marxism's not so bad, communism's not so bad, right? Why, why is everybody so up in arms about people being Marxist? Let me pose a question to you. If you were gonna spend tens of thousands of dollars or allow your child to go hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt to go off to college and be taught by Nazi professors so that when they come out of college, they hate America, um, they hate everything that America stands for, and they are ardent Nazis. Would you do it? Would you pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to have the university system turn your child into a Nazi? The answer is probably no. And yet, people continue to send their children to college so that they can be turned into Marxist and communist. Oh, but Marxism's not so bad, Tammy. Mar Communism's not so bad. The communist regime has murdered hundreds of millions more people than the Nazis ever did. This is no endorsement of the Nazis. I'm not saying what they did is right, but if you think that there's no problem with communism and Marxism, that it's some innocuous economic theory, you are sadly mistaken, my friend, and you need to read up on Marx, Engels, Gramsci, the Frankfurt School, on and on and on. The primary goal of Marxism is destruction destruction. Karl Marx said it himself, everything must be destroyed. The government, the family, um, sex, gender, all of it must be destroyed in order to usher in the age of the new man. And that can't be done until everything else is destroyed. And this is why all the Marxist and communist sympathizers um, are so hell-bent on destroying everything and tearing down everything. And we've had 60 or 70 years of it in our university system, and so now we have entire generations of people that think America's bad, communism and Marxism is good, um, and terrorism's not so bad. You got people on the Golden Gate Bridge protesting against Israel in support of the terrorist the heck is wrong with you people and the mainstream media feeds this crap go google cultural marxism and the first 20 things that pop up is going to say it's an anti-semitic conspiracy theory that's what cultural marxism is then i want you to go um google antonio gramsci cultural marxism or the frankfurt school cultural marxism and then it comes up in black and white plain as day there it is but if you just google cultural marxism they're going to lead you to believe that it's some crazy lunatic right-wing conspiracy theory you've got people out there cheering for terrorists and and cheering for communism what do you think's going to happen do you think you people that are marxist if we ever become a marxist or communist nation do you think that they're gonna shake your hand and thank you for your support absolutely freaking lutely not you're gonna be the first ones lined up against the wall and shot in the head you are the useful idiot 
and it's exactly what they call you. You're the useful idiot, you know too much, and you're going to be the first one to be eliminated. What do you think is going to happen if if um, Sharia law takes over and, and we live in an Islamic state? You think everything's going to be better and peaceful? Really? Are you seriously that naive? Well, of course you are, because you've been brainwashed. Because we have an entire generation of that brainwashing coming from every direction. Coming from media, coming from uh, schools, coming from everywhere. The long march through the institutions is almost complete. I would argue it is complete. So, what are we going to do about it? Are you going to be scared to call it what it is? Radical Islam is terrorist call it what it is and if you think that an islamic state is so great go and look up pictures of people in iran before the iranian revolution and then after and find somebody that was alive for both and ask them when their standard of living was better when their quality of life was better which they enjoyed more which was a better life for them it just amazes me People are just absolutely brainwashed. And folks, we have to do something about it. If at the very least, speak up. Just be another voice out there for sanity. So that people, the only thing that they get when they go online, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, is all this nonsense. All this terrorist communist, Marxist, leftist, progressive nonsense. There's so much of that voice out there, but there's none of ours. So at the very least, we should speak up and just flood the internet with the truth. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. As always, I appreciate you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down in the comments section. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried any of the whatever blend from the country squire if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider doing so just click my logo right over there that's it for this episode of tim school pipes boys and girls class dismissed